Hey, wingman, more celebrities who may or may not have served the military. MASH, arguably the most watched television show of all time, holds a special place in hearts military and civilian. The book was released in 1968, written by a military surgeon about a fictional mobile army surgical hospital during the Korean War. Two years later, it was turned into a dark comedy war movie starring Elliot Gould, Donald Sutherland, and Tom Skerritt. Where do you know Tom Skerritt from? Top Gun. In 1973, MASH even became a play. In 1983, you could play MASH on your Atari 2600. But for this video, we're going to focus on the television show that ran from 1972 to 1983. But before that, I want to put into perspective just how important MASH was. Well, the armistice was signed in 1953, but the Korean War still continues to this day. The book came out in 1968, and the popular TV show went from 1972 to 1983. The perspective from the Afghanistan War, which ended in 2021, means the book would come out in 2036, and the show would come out in 2040, and it would last until 2051. And remember when I said that this is arguably the most watched television show of all time? Here's what I mean. The final episode entitled Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen is still the most watched season finale of all time, cresting at almost 106 million viewers. Hmm. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, celebrities who may or may not have served the military. Out of the main cast who was in MASH, because trust me, there were a lot of people in MASH, who all served in the military? The answer is there are five of them. McLean Stevenson, who plays Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake, served in the Navy as a hospital corpsman. Corporal Klinger, the guy who was always looking for a Section 8 discharge, was played by Jamie Farr, who served with the U.S. Army and who served in Korea as a broadcast specialist. Same thing that I did, but I wasn't looking for a Section 8. Trapper John McIntyre was played by Wayne Rogers, who was an ensign in the Navy and was the navigator for the USS Denebola. Captain B.J. Honeycutt was played by Mike Farrell, who served for two years in the 3rd Marine Division. And Captain Hawkeye Pierce was played by Alan Alda, who was an artillery gunnery officer in South Korea three years after the armistice was signed. If you like what I'm doing and you have fond memories of MASH, like, share, and comment. Have peace and love.